So I tell the customer that his pizza is going to be $25, and then he just shows me this bag of weed, and I'm just looking, and I'm like, uh... And he's like, come on, man, just take it. It's This is over $50. There's a party going on right here. Gay party up here. A celebration. <laughs> the last of the year. Oh. So I used to deliver pizza for a really long time, and to any of you guys who have delivered pizza before, yeah, some pretty interesting things happen. I've actually made a few videos about some crazy things that have happened, but this one I'm going to specifically talk about drugs, because the place that I live at is kind of a separation of people who are wealthy and people who are not very wealthy. So obviously, being the shitty pizza delivery guy that I was, I delivered to all the poor people. Lots of people and their drugs, like a lot. Honestly, probably at least several times a week, sometimes even once a day, you have some kind of encounter with drugs and delivering pizza. So our pizzas were super ridiculously cheap, like Little Caesars price is cheap, like five bucks a pizza, which is why we delivered to all the poor people, which is why I didn't get very many tips, but that's besides the point. Anyway, one encounter that I remember really well was I went to a delivery in the middle of freaking the Ugandan jungles out in the middle of nowhere, the countryside, and I went to this shack. It wasn't even a house. It was like a wooden shack, like a tribal shack, and it looked like a kind of place where voodoo rituals took place. It was fucking scary as shit. There weren't any houses around, and there was a big giant sign that said, be warned of dogs, vicious, or something like that. So I was pretty fucking freaked out already, and I was all alone, and I go up to this door, and I knock, and this guy opens, and he just looks like he hasn't taken a shower in, in over a week. He's like wearing raggedy clothes. It's dirty. Um, he looks like he's got this really bushy hair. I tell him that the pizza is going to be $25. And he just hands me this bag of weed and it's like, come on, just take it. It's over $50. And I'm like, uh, because I'm not a drug type person, right? That's not me. No kappa. And I don't know anything about marijuana, Nothing at all. So he tells me that it's worth $50, but I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with it. And I have to give my boss $25 for the pizza. So this guy is like refusing to give me money, right? And so I tell him, I'm like scared because there's this dog sign up and I'm in the middle of the Ugandan jungles and this guy's in a tribal shack and he might cast some voodoo ritual on me. I have no clue. It's fucking scary as shit. But I, I mean, after mustering up the courage, I tell him, I'm like, I'm sorry, man, but I have to give my boss money and I, I have to do that. And he's fucking pissed. He's like, dude, this is over $50. Like... Just take it and give your boss the money and you can sell this if you don't smoke. I don't know anybody who the fuck is going to buy it. I'm sure everyone at my workplace would be happy to buy it, but I don't know if it's actually worth $50. I don't know anything about weed, marijuana, or any of that stuff. So what is the difference between weed and marijuana? Hell, I don't even know. So I tell him that I can't take it and he's pissed and then he just closes the door, right? He just shuts the door on me and... I don't know what to do. I'm just standing there alone with this pizza. I, I guess I'm going to give it a minute or so before I call my boss and tell him that, you know, essentially it was a prank because if people aren't going to pay, then they, you just chalk it up as a prank call. But I'm just waiting there for a second, looking at the sign that says, be warned of dogs, vicious. And I'm in the middle of the fucking African desert, jungle, Uganda, whatever. And this place is like in the middle of nowhere and there's no one around and I'm a little bit spooked right now. So I wait a few minutes and the guy comes back. <laughs> Fuck this guy, man. Fuck him. He comes back with like a wad of crumbled up like torn dollars and like a bunch of change. He comes back to me and he's like, this is around the price of the pizza. He doesn't tell me this is $25. He doesn't tell me anything. He's like, this is around the price of the pizza and it's like a bunch of change and a bunch of crumpled up bills and just a uh, fucking asshole man i hate this guy so much for those of you that don't know you're responsible for all the money that goes in uh if you have a pizza and you sell it for 25 dollars, then you have to give your boss 25 dollars at the end of the night so when people fuck you over like this it's just a pain in the ass because you have to either count it or you get shorted it's just annoying as fuck so i take this money and then i go sit in my car and i count it out and it was only like 19 dollars. but at this point i'm just gonna chalk it up as a six dollar loss because i'm fucking scared and who knew this guy might have cast a ritual on me while he was gone collecting all of his money, so maybe I'm cursed for the rest of my life. Who the fuck knows? But yeah, that was 
<laughs> oh my god. That was probably one of the weirdest. Actually, fuck. You know what? I don't even know if it was. I have a second part to this story, but I'm getting close to the end of this video, so I can't tell it. So if you, if we can hit 669 likes, that's a lot. It's a challenge, guys. If we can hit 669 likes, I'll tell the part of the story that has to do with drugs, specifically with Vicodin, an encounter with a man and Vicodin while delivering pizza. So if we can get to that point, then I'll tell that part of the story. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe, share it with your friends, uh, check out all my other stories. And if you guys are a delivery driver or you had any encounters with drugs or similar experiences, I'm very interested in hearing from you guys about this. And once again, if we can hit 669 likes, then I'll tell the second part of the story, which has to do with me delivering pizza and a guy and Vicodin, which is also very interesting. So thanks again for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Raw feast!